Hi, good afternoon, everyone. This is Vaibhav, and I'm the founder and CEO of I'm Skills. Hi, Ashwarya, Alpha Rezi, Zana Vananthia. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Canon, Pranati, Ranjita, Rishika, Sartha, Shiva, Samriti, Upasana, Shaheen Begum. Hi to all. Before we guys begin, can I have your quick acknowledgement in the chat box again? That you're all able to hear my voice loud and clear. You guys can see the screen and I'm recording this session so that you guys can check this later on. I have just now said hi to all in the chat box. Can I have your quick acknowledgement? Okay, great. Thank you so much, Praniti. All right. Guys, let me quickly create an agenda for the lesson today. In this class, I'm going to talk about the content writing industry an overview that how exactly content writing market works. What are different types of jobs content writer they perform? How exactly content writing freelance journey works? How exactly you can go ahead and grab a full-time job in this industry? I'll be talking about two sources of income any content writer can generate. And we will also be highlighting the topic called how. How you can go ahead and generate that kind of income. We will also be talking about a long-term vision with content writing industry that some people uh, you know, they believe that uh, if I pursue a training program from an institute, let's say for a month or so, and I'm pro, that's not true. So we will be discussing that how much realistic time you need to devote to this industry to be a good writer. Then I'll be talking about IM Skills Content Writing Master Course and overview that what we offer, why our programs are special, what makes our students, you know, stand out different in the market. And I will also be helping you guys to meet with 18,500 plus people, those who have done these training programs with us. You will be able to interact with them, talk to them, chat with them. You will be able to see where are they working. As we have highlighted there on our website that our students, the write for Times of India, they publish their books. I will also be showing you that how many of those have written Times of India articles, how many of those have published their books. All of those things we will be checking live so that you guys can further trust and decide whether we are the right place for you to learn content writing or not. The last 15 minutes of our session will be an open Q&A round where you are allowed to unmute yourself and talk. So the process that I'm going to follow is that for the first 40-45 minutes, I have restricted you guys that you cannot unmute yourself. I will be talking about my stuff and then after that, I will give you guys this privilege that you can unmute talk and ask your questions related to the industry. On the other hand, I want this class to be an interactive one. So I'll ask you guys uh, different questions during the training uh, or for the, for the first 40 minutes. I request you all to kindly participate with the help of this chat option where I said few minutes back, hi to you guys and you acknowledge that. Okay. So let's guys begin with the class. And uh, before we start, I have my first question ready. So my question to all that I want each one of you, Rishika, Alpha, Divya, Nehru, Ranchita, Shaheen, Upasana, Samir, each one of you to participate, okay? As per you guys, why do you think people hire content writers? What are their business objectives? Or what are different types of business objectives, businesses they keep in their mind while hiring a writer? So I'm giving you all one minute. My question is, why according to you, people hire content writers? What do they achieve after hiring a writer? First answer is ready to promote their businesses. Okay. Very good. To advertise their products. Okay. To enhance their sales outlook, to attract more customers with innovative words. Okay for blogging, article writing, to attract target audience, all right? To engage more with clients, nice. Focus on more core competencies except content making, okay. To increase sales, businesses, revenue, okay. So now let me go ahead and create for all that how exactly content writing industry works, okay? Why they hire you. If you broadly look at any marketing oriented organization, I would say every company needs marketing. Any company, those who are promoting advertising or doing any kind of a brand promotion, they need a person to communicate the message, right? Now, there are four mediums through which we communicate our messages. What are these mediums? Voice, 
Example voice is podcast. Text, written form of content, articles, web pages, blogs, news, videos, Instagram videos, YouTube videos, short videos on YouTube, Facebook videos. All these are part of brand promotion with the help of video marketing. And infographics, images. You might have seen channels like Pinterest, Instagram, LinkedIn. They have carousels. People engage with those images as well. These are four platforms through which people, they use these platforms to reach out to their targeted audience. What are their purposes for doing this? Let's understand that. So that you can understand as a content writer what your job profile will be. And you can be ready according to what as a demand is available in the market. Majorly content writers. So I'm not saying all. Majorly content writers are hired for three goals. Online acquisition of a customer means online sales. Lead generation and brand building. Now, when I say this, I have no intention to mention that these are the only core objectives any organization is looking forward to fulfill from a content writer. Content writers, they perform other activities as well. For an example, if you can, let's say if you get hired with social media marketing company, maybe you're hired for creative work. If you get hired for a technical uh, company, maybe you will be asked to write white papers, research papers. If you're hired for a publication house, maybe you will be doing proofreading, helping people to complete their books. If you're hired for a marketing agency, maybe as per their client's requirement, they will give you the work. If you get hired with Times of India types of companies, news channels, you will be asked to write press columns, PRs for others. So depending upon nature of businesses, your job profile is different. However, this is where the major market is available for content writers. Now, why and how online sales can happen? Example, like a content writer, these guys, they write descriptions. They write from a product, uh, you can say web pages. So now let's say I wish to buy something. Uh, for an example, let's say I wish to buy iPhone. Let's say 11. How do I buy? Either I open the app, a particular app, let's say Amazon, or I'll open Amazon.in, right? And I'll search for a product with these websites. I'll search that, okay, whether this is in my budget or not, color is available. If I like white, yellow, blue, whichever color, then I'll add to a garden, we'll make a purchase. Let's do it hands-on. So let's say I'm at Amazon, here I write iPhone 11, and I get to see these results in front of me. For example, if this is the product, and what I have noticed that, okay, this product is coming at around 60,000, I'll add to a garden, we'll make a purchase. That's the way it goes. Now for a minute, I want each and every person online with me to pay attention to this screen. What if these words are not available here? You just have these images and a product page designed by a front-end developer and image designed by a graphic guy. Do you think the other person with the help of this image will be, make a, will be able to make a sense that what is this product? Do you think they'll be able to add to a card and make a purchase? Answer seems no to me. Let's do it again hands-on. If I remove this word, these words from this particular thing, can somebody tell me that what is this product all about? No, you cannot. Right? Now, who has written this? Answer me in the chat box. Who writes all these product descriptions for these companies? These are writers. Now, eventually, if they don't have writer, ask yourself how many products they list down at these platforms every month, every day. And like these websites, there are many others, right? So without these guys, do you think writing a product description is possible? And if they don't write a product description, eventually what they miss out, they miss out sales. And that's the business model. Amazon is looking forward to sell to more and more number of people. That is the business model, right? So they need writers. Understood? This is one way. So now what happens is that the one who writes Amazon.in or the one who has their application installed in the mobile devices, these guys are familiar about these companies. 
that okay there is a company called flipkart there is a company called amazon there is a company called paytm okay if i'll ask you guys a question across the world or for for a minute let's only talk about india let's say across india do you think everybody has applications for amazon or flipkart in their mobile devices to me answer seems no what about you guys it's no right there are people what they do they rely upon platforms such as google searches yahoo searches bing searches as per search engines they prefer to search for a particular thing so what happens is that let's say those who write here iphone 11 they get to see results like this the one in, it is in front of you right so now what happens is that in india every month 2.2 million people in india every month 2.2 million people they search a term called iphone 11 and after searching this term how they react with search engines 7 lakh 50000 people they click on seo based results 3 lakh 80000 people they click on paid ads 50% people 1.1 million people they do not click anywhere now what do we get to see here can you guys see this sponsored word here sponsored means companies like vijay sale refurbished cashify chroma all these companies are spending money and they are asking search engines like google kindly show our name here so that when people there are 3 lakh 80000 people they react with these advertisements so they want that this type of a traffic should be visited to my blog or my website whatever they have when i click here i will not otherwise they will lose some money so when i click here the person lands to another website okay and after landing to a website the page where they land that's called a landing page now the learning is these advertisements definitely not created by content creators these are created by digital marketers however the landing page content the ad copy these are written by writers copywriters to get maximum number of conversions why because they are paying here cost per click they are giving money to google yahoo bing that you show my name i'm ready to pay you money you send me the traffic and they just don't want a traffic to read the content and go back not at all they are losing money every day they want conversions should happen means a sale should happen and without a great copy or a good copy it is not possible for these guys to get a conversion on the other side we were talking about seo results 7 lakh some 40 80000 people they are there and they click on organic results right 1 2 3 can you see these website names there are no sponsored word written here now what exactly it is this is called seo based results now every search engines google yahoo bing duck duck go all such companies they have given webmaster guidelines that you follow these practices the highest value the one with the help of content and other practices of seo if you will following they will show your name here on the top listing eventually people trust seo based results more than or you know paid advertisements now the important learning that we have is even if you are there at page number 1 of google let's say gsm arena is page 1 rank 1 wikipedia is page 1 but rank number is 8th or 9th they get only 8500 people as monthly reader gsm arena gets 6 lakh 72000 people as monthly reader now who is a clear winner gsm arena because out of 7 lakh 40000 they have 6 lakh 72000 people visiting them through organic results without spending anything now what is the role of a writer to do this now the important learning that you should all receive here is that without a writer it is not possible for any organization to get higher rankings it is that content that makes search engine decide that what types of ranking we should be giving to this website or not and there are other factors too but the most important factor is content the trust the value am i clear for a minute if gsm arena or amazon is here at page number 1 but their positions are here what they will miss out almost 7 lakh 40000 people out of which few were likely to buy they were losing sales understood everybody can have you yes 
Make sense? Lead generation. Second step, we will be discussing that. But can I have your first acknowledgement? How writers helps organization to convert sales? Obviously, you're not a salesperson, but without you, they cannot achieve sales. Lead generation. What are leads? Leads are prospects for any businesses. Example, you are my prospect right now. So, Ranjita, when you filled out your name, email, phone number at I am Skills Portal, you were our lead. Upasana, same for you. Samita, same for you. So, when you have an information, required information from somebody who is interested to take a service or a product from you, that particular person becomes your lead. Now, I want to give you guys one great example. Each one of you will be able to relate with this. Let's assume that in the last 15 days, you've started researching about content writing, the term. And then eventually you realize based on your academic or your other interests that I can be a good writer. And you started exploring this subject. You might have explored channels like YouTube. You have explored channels like, uh, uh, let's say, Quora, some news portal, some articles of other websites, I am skills website. And then you realize that, okay, content writing is a, you know, a viable career. I can go ahead and build my career around it. However, different terms were searched by you guys. And every time when you search, you realize that, okay, there is one institute named as I am skills with others as well. Before that, in your entire life, you have never heard about this institute named I am skills. Never, ever in your life. This was for the first time. When you started researching about content writing, you realized that, okay, they're a good name in this particular industry or in this particular domain. However, before that, you have never heard about this company in your life. So obviously, if you have never heard about IM Skills, you never heard about the other team members, about the CEO of the company or anybody, right? Agree? Now, eventually, if you pick up the thin line, how this particular thing happened that we were able to tap around 60 people those who are interested to learn this subject and I offer this subject in the market, how we were able to tap this? When you Google the term is content writing a good career, luckily you have read an article offered by IM Skills. You search for content writing courses, best India online, such types of term. Luckily you found IM Skills, right? However, was this me? Who did this work? Obviously no. This job was done by who? The writer. And because of that writer, maybe this guy has done this work months back. We were able to pick up the right set of audience for us to whom we can pitch that we are offering the right course for you. Now, 90% of people in the market, they don't sell like Amazon. They are trying to capture a qualified lead, a client to whom they can pitch their service. They can pitch their products. Correct? So now my point is without a writer, Tapping such types of leads are impossible. People need you guys to go ahead and create content in terms of questions asked by people there on internet. And then you can leverage them in terms of marketing their service or product, whatever they are offering. Was this clear with an example? That how important it is to get a writer in a team. Otherwise, it is not possible to either crack a sale or to get a lead, a qualified customer, a prospect. Understood? Quick yes, clear? Great. Now the brand building part. You, you, I'm sure you're all aware about it that content writers are amazing storytellers. Um, have you ever uh, observed this part since the day you have started researching about content writing? You are targeted by other organizations as well. Maybe you've never heard about them, but they're reaching out to you to offer their content writing courses, services, or content writing related subjects. Now, if you are at Instagram, Facebook, or any other platform, you are getting a lot of pushed information towards content writing, maybe an invitation to attend a free webinar, maybe to join some kind of uh, seminars, maybe to check the testimonials of people. However, you have never heard about those institutes. How it is happening? So I'll tell you. Content writers, they're great content creators, of course, amazing storytellers. What they do, they create amazing stories. They reach out to 
higher number of audience with the help and based on their interest. For example, internet is aware about your behavior. Internet is aware about when you got married, when you had your first kid, when you purchased your car, which mobile device you use, where do you live, where are you from, which school you've graduated, what types of interests you have. Nowadays, what types of things you are interested in? That's called lookalike audience and you have opportunity to target such types of people. Now, the point is, given the fact other organizations are aware about it, that Bhavna is there, Kanis is there, Arjuna is there, these guys nowadays are interested to learn content writing. So they write an amazing story in front of you and they try to motivate you to take up their programs or anything, not just content as a training program. I'm just talking about any stuff that some other person is interested to go ahead and buy. So they motivate, they create those stories, they connect with people emotionally, they hit them in such a way that they establish their brand image in front of those guys. And then, of course, they eventually, they, they're looking forward to convert those people into a sale or a lead. But establishing that brand image is very important. Without a writer, it cannot be done. These are three areas. These are three uh, major areas. I feel that 95% of people out there in the market, they're looking forward to accomplish these three goals. Other than this, if you look at the market, definitely the market is demanding for these types of roles as well such as social media writer, instructional designer, uh, content creator for, let's say, academic writing, technical writers, legal writers, research paper. However, such types of job profiles are limited. This afternoon, I was checking the, the number of jobs for freshers available. Again, uh, as per the Nokri database, around about 7,300 jobs, out of which uh, 1,400 jobs are for freshers, are all around these areas. Okay, is this clear everybody that why if somebody will hire you, what are they going to expect from you guys? Can we talk about now you guys, as for your aims, whether you are here to get a job, whether you're here to start with a business or whether you're here to launch your own agency, what are the practices you should implement? So I have a question before I move ahead. I would like to ask you guys one simple question that what is your career goal? after learning content writing from anywhere. Do you wish to become a freelancer? Do you wish to get a job? Do you wish to launch your own agency? Do you have any existing business that you would like to, uh, you know, uh, let's say upscale with the help of this? What do you have in your mind? Okay, so the first... One answer is for job, maximum are for freelancers. What about others? Work from home, job, freelancing or job. Work from home, all right. I'm expecting more answers given we are 35 people online. Ashwarya, Alpha, Archana. Arghya Rupa, Mohanti, Ashish, Ayush, Ayushi, Bhavna, Bhavna Devjani, Harti, Harmi, Jana, Van, Tahita, Kanes, Lakshmi, Mufeda, Munmun, Nehru, Pranati, Preeti, Prerna, Preeti, Agarwar, Ruta, Ranjita, Rishika, Sakshi, Samir, Sartha, Shaheen, Smita, Samriti, Sonal, and Upasana Agarwal. Okay, now I can read that 70% of my audience is here today and they are interested to go ahead and get a freelancing project. 30% people are here to get their jobs. Even Munmu is also here to get a job. The ratio somewhere stands between 33 to 67%. So hypothetically, if you look at the number, 60-40 is the ratio. Amazing. So now I'm going to create for you guys that how exactly you are going to meet those end goals that you have. Okay. Depending upon what as a person you would like to do, we are going to discuss that. I'm first highlighting the topic called job and then we will be talking about freelancers. Any person who is here to get a job as a freelancer, sorry, 
any person who is here to go ahead and get a full time job as a content writer. Remember one thing that you need to have a portfolio. A good, good portfolio stands for that any type of a writing experience demanded by the company, you should have that. Now, let me just explain this part with an example. Amazon will expect you to have SEO and copywriting skills. Correct? A publication house, they will expect that you should have book writing skills and proofreading. A new channel will expect you should have PR writing experience. A social media agency will expect you should have creative writing experience. A digital marketing agency will expect you should have again SEO and other related skills. Correct? Now, depending upon an organization, they need to have different types of skill set requirement from you guys. Correct? Now, understand this part. Whether you're learning a content writing course with us or anywhere, in the end of the day, no one can assure you, let's say after four months when you will graduate from an institution, no one can assure you that which type of a company will come and hire you. Agree? Maybe it can be Amazon. Maybe it can be lead generation company, let's say IM skills. Maybe it is for brand building. Maybe it is for Times of India. Eventually, you need to have a portfolio around everything, isn't it? Correct? Agree? You need to have each type of a work with you in a digital ready platform. So I'm talking about, let's say if it is a book, it should be live. If it is SEO work, it should be live. Every type of a written content that you're planning to do, it should be live. That makes your digital resume ready. Agree, everyone? Able to understand, relate? Now, the point is, without having a good portfolio, it is hard to go ahead and get a job. Now, this is not the thin line. The thin line that you need to pick up here is that, say how much, let's say, I asked you guys that you should be able to go ahead, write a book, write SEO articles, write press releases for Times of India and other stuff you should do. It's easy to say. It takes around 30 seconds to say these words. But when it is about writing, it takes a lot of time. To build an amazing portfolio, you need to devote at least four months of a good practice. You can say you need to give a lot of time in terms of building this portfolio. Without it, it is hard to go ahead and finally land to a great portfolio and that will drive a job for you. Are you all clear? Now, this is my request. In the past, we have observed some people believing this fact that I'll be learning a course and I'm job ready. It is not true. We only invite and suggest people, those who are interested to build a good content writing career. Remember that building a good portfolio is the most important part. And building this portfolio would need at least four months of practice. If you're ready to devote your time this much, then only you should enroll yourself in any kind of a program available in the industry. If that is there, if you're really passionate about writing, given it takes efforts and time, then you're ready. Otherwise, you're not ready. This industry is not for you. Am I clear to everyone? Those who are here to get a job. I'm now going to talk, talk about Portfolio is what I just explained, Moon Moon. Let me uh, take this question in the end once I'll open my Q&A part. Others, are you clear? People who said I'm here to get a job. I'm here now to talk about freelancers. This is very important part, freelancers. Like job people, you guys also need this portfolio. Why do you need a portfolio? Example, if you are interested to learn IM skills program, you're checking our credentials as well. Are they trusted? What are the past reviews of people? Every other thing you are also checking. So you're checking our portfolio. Any person who will outsource you their work, do you think they will check your portfolio? Is your answer yes for this or no? Do you think they will also be checking your portfolio? They will, right? So like people who are here to get a job, you definitely need a written work that people can trust, people can believe that, okay, Hardy or Ranjita, they know this particular work and they will be able to do this job for me too. 
But I have a question that I really want to ask because 70 plus percent people are here to get freelancing work. How will you get a client? How will you tap a person? How will you capture a lead? This is an interesting question I want everyone to answer. According to you guys, how will you get your clients? Or from which platform you're going to get them? LinkedIn, okay. Pranati says LinkedIn, fine. Upwork, sign. Instagram, social media. Okay. LinkedIn, Upwork. Okay. Any other person who would like to mention? And that's okay. I'm not looking forward for any kind of a perfect answer. All I'm looking forward is to understand how much and what do you understand related to freelancing market so that I can help you guys to learn this particular industry. And you should know the facts and figures. Fiverr, LinkedIn, nice. Okay. All right. Word of mouth. Okay. Amazing. Thank you, everyone. Let me write this part. Guys, those who have mentioned here LinkedIn, Fiverr, have you ever tried creating your account at Fiverr or Upwork? Honestly, people get work there. But the only challenge with these websites are for one project, there are 10,000 plus people who are bidding for a job. It is hard to get that project. Word of mouth is definitely possible the moment you're very famous. LinkedIn is one such platform through which you get leads, no doubt. But that takes a lot of time and you have no idea how many of those are potential people. Versus if you're here at Google search, somebody search freelance writer and then Rishika's name appear, Kani's name appears. They land to you. They say that Kani's, I saw your business like you landed here at IM Skills. You're pitching them and then you convert them. Do you think that is more reliable? More reliable? Agree? Now, my point is, as a freelancer, you need to definitely have a portfolio. However, just remember, you have to work 2x harder than the job people. You need to learn marketing. I'll be teaching you that. Don't worry. I'll let me explain. So, you need to have a very good marketing skills. Else, you will not be able to reach out to the relevant market or potential leads. Once you have leads with you, you need to learn sales. Without selling skills, it's impossible to become a good freelancer or start your independent business. You need to learn delivery skills. You need to learn finance skills. You need to learn basically you should be a CEO of your company, a one-man army. Like I started Iron Skills way back, alone, one member. What I'm trying to tell you that without building these skills, it is not possible for any one of you to be able to establish yourself as a freelance content writer. All the companies who promise you that earn from US clients, UK clients, get projects from international market with the help of Fiverr and other platforms. I'm not saying they are lying to you guys. Definitely no. But the only problem is that it is really hard to get work versus you follow the easy path. Now, for you guys, it may sound very difficult at this stage marketing, sales, that, that's not my cup of tea, but that's easy. That's not difficult. You'll be able to do it. Am I clear, everyone? Can I now talk about what I have to offer you? Is this clear? So now just remember, if you make, if you want to make a lot of money, you need to work hard. You need to build these skills. Then definitely the career is different. It's amazing. It's way beyond what you have imagined in terms of the money. Because you don't have to market every day. Once done, game is done. It's like once I have created my video, it's there on YouTube and it's viral. It's viral. People will watch it. People will view it. It's not that I have to create videos, similar subject video every day. Of course not. Everyone, can I now talk about it? What we are offering to you now? So now the point is what we have on this table for you guys. Now, if you have noticed, I am skills is offering you a program that is a one-month course, right? Content Writing Master course, a one-month course, wherein every Sunday from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m., 
you're all learning 30 types of content writing how to type them how to write them 30 types of content writing skills considering all of you are fresher then all of you are divided into two categories in a three months in-house internship wherein you will be learning every sunday with me time is 11 a.m to 12 p.m here job people your focus will be to build a portfolio freelance people you will be learning marketing sales and rest of the things along with portfolio development so in a four months course each one of you will be learning building a good portfolio and there is a guarantee on a recorded line that i'm giving you now in four months duration people who are here to get a job they will have a job in hand else 1.5x money return from im skills freelancers you will tap your first client in the training period if that doesn't happen 1.5x money return the only condition is you need to write and complete your work assigned to you. We won't ask you to go to moon and come back. We will only ask you to write content. That's it. Very simple. A commitment for two to three hours per day is what we are expecting from a student. Am I clear? No, I really don't want any one of you to believe me. See, in the end of the day, each and every company out there or institute out there, we are in promotional activity and we are promoting our programs. I don't want you to do that. You go to LinkedIn. You go to LinkedIn. And what you should do, you write your IM skills in the search box. Okay. And in this, you click here at people. Once you will click here at people, you will be able to go ahead and meet with one second. What type of a thing they have done? Why are they pushing me LinkedIn premium? Oh, one second. Okay, anyways, I think LinkedIn is pushing something here. All I want to tell you is that once you will click there, I am skills. You don't click on people. You click here. There are not just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are 18,000 people with their updated profile. Palak Fatima, my first article at Times of India got live. Special thanks to just connect with anyone. There are no one, two, three. There are 18,500 people, those who are live here, talk to them, ask them what kind of a career experience they have received, and you will be able to get the answer from these guys. Am I clear, everybody? So just interact with the real students. Am I clear? Quick yes. Now, for a minute, I'll pause my recording since I'll be showing you something. Clear, trusted. Further, I want you to speak with the student. Check where are they working today. You will have the answer from these guys. From which countries they have participated, you will have answer from these guys. Am I clear all? Now, can I talk about further things? Quick acknowledgement in the chat box. Then we'll open our Q&A. All right. So what is this course all about? So this is called a content writing master course. And this is a three months, one month training and three months of an internship in-house non-paid. In total, 30 hours of training lectures will be delivered to you guys. And there are three certifications as part of this course. One from US, one from Government of India recognized, and one from UK. These three are exam-based certificates. You have to clear an exam to be certified. As a student, there is an assurance for your career. That if you are here to get a job, you'll have it. There is a, a assurance for freelancing. The program is conducted only on Sundays, 10 a.m. till 2 p.m., starting from 28th of May. This is the pricing, 14,900 plus 18% GST for this course. And we are open with last five, six seats for the 28th May batch. Then the course curriculum and every other thing you can find here or my colleague will forward it to you. 
Now, a question that you may ask is that why but there are other institutions as well? Why we should offer IM skills? How many of you have this question with you? How many of you have this question that why we should go for IM skills? Nice, lovely. First and foremost, I am giving you a real life condition. Let's say you have Maruti car, Maruti Alto, the starting version of Maruti. You are at Hills. And at 2 a.m., your car has a breakdown. Maruti people, they send the technician immediately. They solve the problem. For you, Maruti is a brand. You have Mercedes. You are stuck somewhere again in those hilly areas. At 2, you requested them to send somebody. And they said, we will send somebody tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Now, who is a bigger brand for you? Maruti or Mercedes? When you are stuck in life, you need somebody to help you. Agree? Do you agree to this? Unlike I am skills, here I'm the CEO of a company. I have other works to do. Have you noticed that every group, I'm the admin and other teachers are, you will never feel like that we are left alone after making the payment. You will be taken care of like a kid properly. And trust me, you will be spoon feeded by us because that's the way we care our students. See, nobody will tell you you talk to 18,000 people because I trust my delivery. Second important thing, you will be mentored by us. I am there for every type of a problem you would like to discuss. Straight away, call me. Call other faculty, depending upon their lectures, you will have instant solution to the problem. The most important part that makes our program better than any other program in the industry is you have lifetime access, trainer support, hands-on training, and objective-driven course. So you are here to get a job. We are guaranteeing you for it. Else money return, even double. You are here to become a freelancer. I'm guaranteeing you for this. And I'm doing it on a recorded line since last eight years. Every Thursday, I upload these recordings on my YouTube channel. So far, no complaints. So what I'm trying to tell you that you need to just give me a commitment that you will work for two to three hours a day. The rest is our responsibility. We'll take care of every other thing. The program will give you lifetime access for recordings and live. Not sure how many of you are aware about it. Google I.O. launched yesterday, right? Now they are changing the entire way content is being created. All my 18,000 people, they learn from me for free. That what are the new changes, how they have to create the content now. They have integrated the new algorithms. So, of course, content creation strategies will also change. So, what I'm trying to inform all of you is that you have a mentor here to take care of you. That makes our program unique. All right. Talking about when is the next batch starting? As I said, 28th of May, the new batch is going to start. And we are open to take an enrollment for the people who are interested for 28th may patch for around six or eight seats are available that i'm not sure i need to check with shiva now i have a question before i open my q a round how many of you are targeting this batch of 28th may 2023 i have a surprise for you praniti jain okay No, I just wanted to know from the people who are confirmed. Pranati, to you, I have sent something on a private chat. You can use this and save 10%. Pruta, to you as well. Preeti, to you as well. Prerna, to you as well. This offer is valid until 5 p.m. Kanis to you as well. Sartha to you as well. 10% off link. I mean the code. Ranjita, given you're not sure, still I'll give you this. Okay. Now I am open where to solve your questions and doubts. So it's time to go ahead and give you guys this privilege to unmute. So whosoever would like to go ahead and talk, Please directly don't unmute yourself. I request you all to please write this unmute in the chat box. I'll name you and then you unmute yourself so that 
we can have a good positive interaction without any interruption. Those who would like to talk, Ashwarya, please go and mute yourself. Good afternoon, sir. This is Aishwarya from Sharjah. Hello, Aishwarya. Yeah. Uh, the presentation was well was very nice and uh, it was very informative as well. I'm a homemaker and I'm staying in Sharjah. The point is that if I enroll for the May 28th course here, the vacation starts in July and August. So during which I'll be traveling. So in case if I'm taking a break in between, will it be compensated or I shouldn't be taking any break in between? Could you please you know, clarify on the same? We have both the options available. Yeah. Given the break time that you are asking for, that is a part of an internship. So at that okay. time, there will be one hour sessions assigned to you. So if you will be okay. traveling, let's say, uh, for a vacation or two hometowns anywhere, you can okay. either pause the internship. Then, of course, if we have committed you four months, in your case, we will ask you for six months time. Uh, that's okay. the way it is going to be. However, given you will have recordings available every time, then there are group interactions as well. If you can okay. divide your time to build a portfolio, that is anyways nice. You will be able to, in fact, practice more. Okay. Okay. So, so in case if I'm taking any break or something, I should inform well, ahead, right? Yeah, definitely. So there are group managers, there are internship managers. You have to inform me so that accordingly... We can mark you that you are not uh, active because see, we will ask you for weekly projects to submit. Yeah. Those projects okay. are yours, not ours. But you have okay. to submit them because if we are guaranteeing you for something, we need in the end of the day, uh, the student should put those efforts, right? So if we yes. will mark you that you are unavailable at this moment, we will be making sure that we won't ask you for this. But the day you are uh, going to come back, we want that you should submit your task on time. Because this entire learning is all about task thing. I yes. will be coming, giving you lecture. Roma will be coming. She'll be giving you lecture. In the end of the day, if you will not do this hands-on, the important part, that's portfolio, that's not going to be built. So that is what we need in the end, right? Yeah, I absolutely understand. So being a homemaker and being, travel, being on travel, it will be quite difficult. So that's why that's the only concern I'm having. Other than that, I'm uh, well satisfied with the presentation today and I'm looking forward to enrolling in the course as well. So I had only this query in my mind. That's why I wanted to check with you. No worries. Thank no you. good. I have also given you the code. You can use it before okay. 5 India to save 10%. Okay, sir. Thank Sata, you. your turn. Please unmute. Yes, thank you. Uh, can you please more explain about the uh, internship uh, period? Yeah. So what happens is that in the three months internship, there are various activities as a student you will be performing. Mm -hmm. Every Sunday from 11 a.m. till 12 p.m., I will be your host and I'll okay. be teaching you, let's say, one weekend SEO. Other weekend, how to go ahead and make your ebook and also get a print of that book if you're in India. So how to go ahead, reach out to these publication houses, how to apply for ISBN. I'll be doing mm -hmm. the proofreading part. Next weekend, I'll be teaching you the best subjects you can pick up to, you know, reach out to Times of India and then get an approval. Likewise, the next subject will be how you can go ahead and write SEO friendly content, then creative work. So all such things will happen during those internship phase. I'll be teaching you affiliate marketing. That's one other way of making money. I'll be teaching you WordPress development, core okay. development, how to design a website or a blog for yourself so that you can reach out to wider audience. Yeah. I'll be teaching you marketing subjects, all such yeah. things. And then you will be getting tasks around it so that you can implement them, practice them. Yeah. Understood now? That would be more helpful. Thank you so much. Welcome, Sarta. Pranati says, can we get work from home jobs as well? Pranati, if you look at the current market, let's say if you go to nokri.com, nokri.com in fact has around 1500 plus jobs only for work from home. If you look at 6,545 jobs out of 6,980 is around work from home. And if you just look at people with only, let's say freshers, fresher jobs are 1,307. One years of experience, 3,159. Up to two years of experience, 4,522. Pranati, are you clear? Job market is good. You're most welcome.
Who would like to go next? Yes, please, Ranjita. Prerna, I'll read after Ranjita your question. Uh, hello, sir. Hello. Sir, I, I am an MTech in electronics and communication. I did it uh, four years back. And right. right now, just because I am not well uh, from these four years, um, I have been writing and I have taken interest in writing right now. I am really very confused about should I go for technical writing or content writing? Are they same or are they different? They are both take... different. Ranjita, you should take technical writing, not content writing, based okay. on your background. Yes, sir. So for technical writing, do I need to take another session or a content writing don't covers have, uh, technical writing? I have to. In fact, the batch starts on this Sunday and okay. the market for technical writers is anyways on the higher side. People call it at H1B visa for people to get a job in US. Technical yes. writers are in fact high paying job, but given that it has a prerequisite and you are completing that, you have that uh, uh, educational background, you can definitely go for technical, not for content writing. So if I want to do both of them, can I do that? Because I have this uh, urge to write for myself, like writing blogs or writing something and else. Also. So marketing related content, if you're interested, then you should also pick up content writing. So, I mean, given you asked me a question out of two, which one is aligned as per your academic profile? That's technical writing. Then the second question that you said that I'm interested to market or write about uh, my own blog or something. So for that, you have content writing as well. Yes, sir. So then you can uh, offer both without a problem. Okay, so can I do them both at same time or should I do no, it one cannot, by one? Because both the classes happens every Sunday, 10 to 2. So okay, first sir. we will complete your technical writing, then we will complete your content writing. Okay, because sir. In technical writing, the investment of time is uh, less required versus content writing. Uh, it has a commitment of four months. So we will first complete technical and then we'll go to content. Sir, right now I am traveling. So I will be back home, I don't know, in 10 days or something. Uh, can I do content writing? Class? Like, I, if I can't attend the class right now, uh, then can I record the class or uh, do something after that? You can, that's not a problem. Let's do one thing, Ranjita. Let yes, us sir. address this part. Uh, do you know Shiva? Are you yes, uh, yes, I, I tried contacting him. He said he will call me, but I didn't got the call yet. That's why I'm very confused. I asked. I... Ask Shiva, okay. can you make a note of it that you have to speak with Miss Ranjita? If you are, if you can hear me, all right. Just after the session, make sure that you address all her concerns and after that, accordingly help her to get the admission done. All right, okay. Miss Ranjita, he will guide you. Don't worry. Thank you so much, sir. You are very kind. Your words are very. Kind. My pleasure, ma'am. My pleasure. Thank you, sir. Okay, now I have to read Prerna's question. Prerna says, my question is, I have no background in writing and no experience whatsoever. I wanted to ask if this course will help me for a career shift. Prerna, uh, so I'll tell you something. We are always in the request mode of people who have no background of writing. We can only train them. Otherwise, uh, the mindset of people is, uh, this is something that I'm going to say, that is already always listening. Mark this word, what I'm trying to say. Already, always listening. What does that stand for? I am a coach and somebody has a little experience in content writing industry. Now, no matter what I'll be teaching this person, in the end of the day, this person is already in that mindset that I know this. On, on the other side, it is hard to teach such types of an audience. Building your career is our responsibility. Helping you to do the transition is our job. But given you have no background, it is good for us to teach you in a better way. Am I clear? I'm also interested in technical writing. Please provide fee detail. Uh, Shiva, can you please make sure you can also speak with Ashish Bhatia about it? What are the best ways to research for an article? Now that depends, Nisha. Uh, in my case, I use various platforms for my research practices. I use PyFew. I use SCM Rush. I do competition analysis a lot. I do uh, keyword research with Longtail Pro. These are premium tools that I use. And uh, depending, so depending upon which all tools you are comfortable with, there are hundreds of tools for research part. 
So I am more comfortable with this. Now you can simply go ahead and decide. I'm an MBA. Uh, is content writing going to help me? Uh, Samriti, what are your goals? If you can just put some light on that, then I can tell you better. Another actually, question? Yeah, actually, sir, I'm an MBA and I'm also, I have, um, you know, uh, enrolled for a PhD also. And I'm, I'm working yeah. as an assistant professor also. But wow. I always, so, yeah, but so, you know, I have been doing research, things like that. I've been writing research articles and all. So um, I have interest in writing, um, you know, but uh, research work is the only thing I've done so far. So is content writing going to help me out? Now, there are two aspects of it. One, to make money out of it. Definitely, yes. Second, you said that. I am writing research papers. Now, see, you have to reach out to people or to your students that you have to inform them that you can read my research paper, maybe at Google Scholar or these platform. Okay. Right. Versus you're quite famous. You're doing your own marketing. You are famous as a professor and people know that about this subject. Let's say somebody has to read a thesis about environmental studies. Then Samriti Verma is the person across the world. Now, how can that particular thing be happen? This can be happen with the help of marketing oriented content. So that can happen only when you know how to use various mediums to do it. So on an, or let's say, or, or personal level to market your own service product, your own skills. If you will be using content writing, it is going to be a great help for the existing career that you have. Understood? Okay. And also I would like to do freelancing also because the, um, because of my uh, working hours and traveling hours, because of this, I want to do freelance content writing. Will that help me? I mean, okay. um, if you will be doing freelancing, you will be making money. My subjects are related to management and all. I've always, always studied marketing, human resource, finance and all. So is it going to really help me out? Uh, the background is going to help and me out? Here something that uh, when you will be doing freelance marketing for others depending upon their nature of businesses you will be getting projects versus your interest all right freelance market is an open platform let's say if i'll reach out to you right now mm -hmm. and i'll ask you a question ma'am can you please go ahead and help me to write my articles now given i run an educational website so i'll be asking you to write educational or academic related content Versus if companies like Amazon, they will reach out to you. They may ask you to write product description. So it all depends the nature of the other organization or their business model. Okay. And one more thing. I mean, oh, I've seen all this academic writing and all. Is this ethical? I feel it is not ethical because you are getting your uh, research papers written from someone else. How can that be ethical? Ma'am, academic writing, now everything is honestly ethical and uh, Second important thing is internet works on GBDR guidelines and uh, people, they can take, so let's say any content generated by me, I have a copyright on that. On the other yeah. side, I am using Samriti's content example. So if I'm giving you a credit in that, that this content uh, source is Samriti Varma, then it is again ethical because I'm mentioning the uh, relevant source as well. In fact, I'm promoting you. So these are ethical practices. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. Uh, Ranjita says another question. Sir, do we need to have sound knowledge? of uh, Ranjita, there are tools to improvise that. Don't worry about it. Can you please explain what is the difference between content writing and technical writing? So I'll give you an example uh, so that everyone can relate, Niru. Let's say you have to write about uh, a car. Okay. And a car is, let's say you have to write about Maruti Wagoner. So as a content writer, you will be writing about Maruti Wagoner is available in white color. The, the boot space is 240 liters. The colors, uh, the car is available in three uh, options. Uh, let's say CNG, electric and petrol. And uh, it has good seating capacity for five adults and one kid. So this is a role of a writer. Now, if it is a technical writer, he has to write about Maruti uh, Wagner. So this guy will write a description that Maruti Wagner is built on this structure. The dimensions are this. 
the music infotainment system is used by this company that provides this much hours of power. The gear system is this. So where you write the description of how it is being built, the journals, the information about uh, the inside of building that particular machine. Understood? So that's the way. So one way you're marketing, other way you are writing a description of that particular service. Nisha says, I missed what you say about research. Please, can you write on the screen about tools? Please, it will help me in this regard. So, okay. Nisha, SCM Rush, you can use. Answer the public, you can use. Long tail pro, you can use. Enough for you. Okay. What kind of examinations do we have to appear to get certified? Tallest, HubSpot, and IM skills. Showing some courses, certificates, and medium writing. Is this stuff is enough for content writers' portfolio? Nisha, honestly speaking, uh, no. It's not just that you have to write. It's that you have to reach out. You have to learn marketing. So there are many other things. So don't just believe that you are a writer. You consider yourself that you're a semi-marketer as well. Okay, so there are different types of adaptability you need to build during this training period. If that doesn't happen, it's difficult. Any more questions? Prenna, kindly unmute yourself. So I wanted to ask, let's say I am BSc food science. So uh, can, should I go for technical writing instead of content writing? BSc? Food science. Like I have knowledge about food and stuff. So mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And just to ask you that uh, from your academics point of view, you have never practiced any types of softwares and everything, right? Um, I'm not sure what kind of software you mean. Your point. Adobe Help, Frame Maker, Adobe Frame Maker, no. all this. Never. No, no. Yeah. Have you guys ever asked to write research papers, all such things? No, I haven't done that. You better go for content writing. All right. Thank you. Sir. It's gonna be very difficult for you to learn and understand the subject. That's why. Okay, right now. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Welcome. Okay, so everyone, I think we've already extended the class by five minutes. Ashwarya, Alpha, Archana, Ashish, Ayush, Hardi, Harmeet, Jana, Vantathita. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, really sorry. Lakshmi, Munmun, Niru, Nisha, Pranati, Preeti, Prana, Pruta, Rabendra, Ranjita, Samir, Sartha, Shaheen, Sheila, Shiva, Smita, Samriti, and Tejan. Thank you so much, everyone, for participating today in this class with me. I am looking forward to welcoming everyone in the upcoming lectures. 28th of May, we have a batch starting, and then July 15th is the batch that's starting. Sorry, June 15th. So accordingly, you can participate. I have given you all until 5 p.m. a 10% off. You can all use it, and you can take a benefit of saving your 1,750 rupees. And uh, once again, everyone, thank you so much for participating. For any help, kindly speak with Shiva. He will help you to enroll in the courses. For any help, you can interact with him. And uh, thank you once again for giving your valuable one hour to us. I'm looking forward to help you guys upskilling yourself in the upcoming weeks. Yes, Nisha, I will upload the YouTube video in next 30 minutes. You can check at I am Skills channel. Thank you again. You have a great time. God bless you all. Take care.